What's going on everybody? This is Super Nintendo Mike and welcome back to some more Mario Kart 8. In the last episode we did the Shell Cup and in this episode we're gonna do the Banana Cup, I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> I'm sorry, I haven't played this game in quite a bit. Um, I guess I'll play as... Um, I don't want to play as Peach. I guess I could. I'll play as one of the babies. So you give baby Rosalina a shot. You get the Peach Parasol. That doesn't look like something Peach would use. But let's check out the stats. Uh, probably would want weight. So. Yeah, let's take the plane glider. I need something with more speed. Handling is just tremendous. Uh... That's a lot of acceleration, but we need speed. Preferably I want like three stars, but the slick wheels, hmm, not doing it for me. I love the retro off-road, but I think I gotta go with the slim for just a little bit more speed. Yeah, these fit better, I guess. Yeah, these fit better. Okay, so let's do that. And do the banana cup, so we have three cups left. Dry Dry Desert, Donut Plains, Royal Raceway, and DK Jungle. This one I like a lot. This is gonna be a good cup. I don't know why the fan is spinning a lot on my computer, that's really weird. Because I recently just finished doing Hyrule Warriors, and I don't know why. It's spinning a lot. It wasn't spinning really at all when recording Hyrule Warriors. So Jar Jar Dash, this is a throwback to the Nintendo GameCube Mario Kart Double Dash. This game, I mean this track, I liked a lot. A lot of people didn't like it on the GameCube. But I like it a lot more in Mario Kart 8. It's so much better. And while these AI are just... Wow, how did... How does that work? Can you explain to me what just happened there? Like, I don't get it. And he's probably going to hit me with that red shell. But turning is very good with the babies. I don't really play with them. I think I played as baby uh, Daisy once. But um, when you're facing AI, baby Rosalina is OP. So I might have a little bit more success that I'm actually playing as her. Instead of facing her. But the babies are interesting. They have very, very good turning. Their acceleration isn't that bad. It's just the speed. that That's how they buff them. Yeah, the turning is just excellent with the babies. Look at that turning. Woo, very tight turning. But the characters I prefer to play the most, probably Waluigi and Rosalina. Which most people play as Rosalina instead of Waluigi, but... I just like Waluigi. Waluigi's funny. I don't think I've played as Wario yet, so... I might give Wario a try. I haven't even tried playing as the Koopalinks yet. So I'll definitely have to give every character... A try, at least. And I'm hoping that was just the banana that Baby Daisy had. See so yeah, that little speed boost there? There was a little bit of a slipstream, kind of, but there is a there is a small boost when you get uh, ten coins. Like I'm at two and a half blocks right now. When you get ten, it probably boosts you up. I'm guessing a fourth of a block or half a block. Boosting an entire block would be a very noticeable difference, but the 10 coins doesn't help too much, but it helps. It helps enough if you have a slow cart. If you have a fast cart, I don't think you'd really notice it so much. I noticed, well, we don't have 10 coins yet, but when I had it, I noticed it a little bit. Yeah. It's, it's a little noticeable, but not too much, and that red shell must have hit a uh, pokey, because I avoided it. And again, I'm using the Pro Controller, and it just... It doesn't feel nicer, but it's just a lot easier to use. Like, that might be really weird to say, but... I was honestly fine with the, with the um, gamepad before. Uh, that could have been worse. Where are the AI? There's Baby Daisy, so... 
We should win this if I don't muck up anywhere. Let's take this might as well. And that wasn't- I don't think that was there in the original. I think they added that. But this is definitely a course that the finish- that when you get to the finish line, it's very hectic at the end. Very climactic. But yeah, the battery life on this, um... I don't know yet, because I haven't played a bunch of co-op with it, I haven't done a whole lot of work with it, so I don't know how the battery is, but... From what I've heard, it's actually a lot better than the gamepad. It's, from what I've heard, it's like an extra hour or two, so that's good. But as far as the GameCube, I mean, bleh, the gamepad battery. Um, I'm not going to risk getting a third party one, because when it just gets really low, or even dead, I'm just going to plug in the um, AC adapter. That's all I'm going to do, just plug it in and play with it. Because I have an L-shaped desk, um, and I usually charge it on the opposite side of where I'm sitting, where I'm facing right now. So I would just have to rearrange that, but it's really no big of a deal. I think that's what most people do. If they still want to play and the battery's low, just plug it in. And that's what you do with pretty much any device, really. So it's not too big of a deal, but it is a nuisance to plug it in, and the battery should have been better, but... Whatever. Too little, too late. And yeah, third-party batteries, I don't really recommend. Third-party controllers are kind of up in the air. I was thinking about getting the um, Afterglow controller, but eh. I was get the authentic thing. So. You know, Afterglow is a pretty good company. I'm surprised how loud this controller is. It seems louder, at least with the control stick than the gamepad, but... I mean, it's definitely more stiff than the gamepad. That's what I like about the gamepad more. Alright, so that's blue shell number two we've encountered. That... <sighs> I swear, if that's Baby Daisy again, that's the fixed character in this... in this cup. Oh, missed my ten coins. Ah, whoa, whoa! No, what ha what the heck? That was weird. My controls just went out of whack. No, we're not gonna get all first. Oh my gosh! Wow! Ah, oh, no. We can't be tied after two. If it was tied after three, I'd be really, really nervous. But, ah, I really wanted the six point advantage. Even though I don't have to win this cup, I want to win every cup for the LP. I don't know why I keep hitting the uh, pop filter. That was really weird. Hope it doesn't pop up in the recording. It's kind of annoying to set it back in place once it's already been set. Check my phone. I'm going to burn out. Yep. Tad too early. So this is a throwback to Royal Raceway. Ah, scratch my nose. Back in Mario Kart 64, I'm pretty sure. Definitely sounds like Mario Kart 64, except, well, it's kind of a remix, I think. I don't think it's exactly the same soundtrack, like with most of these soundtracks in here. Except for the new ones, the new tr courses, those are new soundtracks. What's up with the babies here? My gosh. Get out of here. But I like that little effect, the ambient occlusion effect. That is only cool in racing games, okay? Any other game, it's not... That's gonna hit me, isn't it? Any other sort of game, shooters or whatever, first-person shooters, that's not... It's not really necessary. Ambient occlusion. It looks cool in racing games, because you can actually still focus on your character, even though you're, you're seeing that effect. I don't know, that's just me. Yep, good thing I have this. There can't be another one. I thought I saw one off the corner of my eye. But yeah, on this course, a bike is not a must, but it kind of is. Just a lot of tight turning. And that jump right there isn't really as epic as it was in 64. 
Like, I remember having frame rate problems or whatever, but... I don't know, the, the jump doesn't feel as epic as it used to be. So, randomly bringing this up, who's excited for the DLC? I am. I'm actually glad to bring it, and I think... <laughs> It's a very smart marketing strategy, and it's a, it's really cheap, too. $12. I probably mentioned this in another video. I think I mentioned the Star Cup or something like that. Uh, it's $12 for both packs. And if you pre-order both, you actually get the um, Yoshi and Shy Guy skin. Now, I hope that's not a limited thing for um, pre-orders only. Like, I hope you get all the Yoshi colors and Shy Guy colors when you actually buy them the day it's released, or, like, say couple days, weeks, or a month after. In case you can't get it right away. But, um... I hope that's not a limited pre-order thing. Oh, sweet Lakitu one. That's very, very good. Up by six now. Yay! So even if we win third place, third or fourth place, we come out with a victory because the human player overrides the AI when, when, you, when you're tied with points. So we can get fourth! At the very minimum, and be guaranteed safe, but I'm not gonna... I can't really pay attention to where... Where she is. Oh, now she's behind me, because I'm not using the gamepad, and how did she get past me? Her cart's probably faster. That's what I'm guessing. Where'd that come from? She didn't have one! Must have been Lakitu or something, what the heck? I don't even care if Lakitu wins. <laughs> this race. Oh, but that turn is so much more fluid as playing as a baby. My gosh. Yeah, if you ever choose a, a baby character online or in Grand Prix, uh, it's definitely good for DK Jungle. That was very good, but hopefully it's good on this turn. Coming up here, the shortcut is... I think the shortcut was a lot easier in Mario Kart 7. Let's see. Ooh, that was... Wow! I may have just gotten lucky there, but that felt a lot better playing as a baby. Not gonna lie. Every other character I've tried, that turning is just... That turn is just so annoying. Mario Kart 7, it really didn't matter what character you chose. That turn was very easy. That's what Mario Kart 7 did very well. Is it the best Mario Kart? No. Is this potentially? My favorite, to be honest, was Double Dash. That's my favorite. That was the, that was one of the close ones to being perfect, in my opinion. And everyone's entitled to their own opinions. Okay, made the jump. That's okay. As long as you made that jump, you're starting to get your momentum leaning, going, uh, building up to that jump is very, very tough. It's a good thing we did that. But for my second favorite, it's probably this game. To be honest. I mean, if the the items were in RNG all the time... Oops, I missed it, whatever. I already showed off twice. If the items were like Mario Kart Double Dash, like how they were in RNG, you had a set uh, item uh, selection per place you're in. Then I would have been fine with this game. This would be my favorite, but I think Mario Kart Double Dash did the items right. They did them right. When you're in 7th and 8th place, you get a lightning, or you get a blue shell, or you get triple reds. In this game, you can get a coin... Oh, what the heck. Okay, good. <laughs> in this game, you can get a coin no matter what place you're in. And also, mushrooms are way too common, even though mushrooms are probably the best in this game. Uh, they're very helpful, but... I don't know, in... Mushrooms, you shouldn't begin mushrooms after 6th place, okay, I guess you can get mushrooms, but like 7th and 8th, no. You should only be getting red shells, I mean triple greens, triple reds, or um, not triple greens, it's triple reds, bullet bill, star, lightning, and blue shell. That should be 6th and 7th and 8th only but those are real game changer items two stars yeah we missed it because of that uh second place finish 
whatever it was, third place. Alrighty guys, so thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Super Nintendo Mike here, in the next episode we're gonna do Leaf Cup. So yeah, that's a, another good cup too. I, li I like all the cups in here, but it's just that I favor some of the over others. So thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Super Nintendo Mike here, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.